Hey guys, here again with another short video showing you how to properly bleed the air out of your power steering system. Uh, this will work for any car or truck you have. Um, this one in particular I'm working on is a 2007 Toyota Sienna. Um, so you will need to bleed your power steering out if you have replaced your power steering pump or if you replaced any um, of the lines on the power steering system you'll need to bleed the air out or if you even do a fluid exchange in this case on this car I replaced a power steering line so first thing you want to do is locate the power steering reservoir which is right here just take the cap off I've already bled the system on this car I'm showing you what to do just take the cap off set it down anywhere just leave it open like that now with the car off but with the key on so you can turn the wheel, what you want to do is just turn the wheel very slowly, about as fast as I'm going. Just turn it lock to lock all the way to the right. And then you will just get to the end and then just turn it back the other direction. Very slowly about this. It doesn't have to be a continuous motion, but just do it slowly. Um, seems like this may take a while, but in honest, in all honesty, I do this about 10 or 15 times lock to lock. That just ensures that you get all the air out because you don't want to have air in your system because you can potentially damage your power steering pump and you don't want to do that since you did all that hard work just putting it on. So, um, yeah, if you just take your time, do it about 10 to 15 times slowly like that. Then after that is done, you go ahead and start your car up, and I'll go ahead and start this one up now, so you can hear it. Uh, give me a second. Go ahead and start your car up now. And then you want to be looking for any air bubbles inside. You can't see in this one, but there are no air bubbles. Everything is good and clean in this car. Um, go ahead and turn the wheels on so you can hear there's no noise or anything. Nice smooth steering. So yeah, um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please ask them in the comment section below. Uh, Please uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will bring you more videos as I uh, get around to doing them. Uh, thanks again guys. I'll see you soon.